energy and power densities. These are yet another set of parameters that are very important for deciding the size of the battery. Energy and power densities have a bearing on determining the volume, size, space requirement for a given application in housing the battery for a given application. If you consider the energy density, there are two specific types. One is called the gravimetric energy density and the other is called volumetric energy density. And as the name indicates, gravimetric energy density is having units of watt hour per kg and volumetric energy density is having the units of watt hour per liter. So this gravimetric energy density, watt hour per kg, is also given in the literature as specific energy. In some literature you will see it as specific energy, so don't get confused. So watt hour per kg, so for every kg of the battery material, battery package, it will deliver so much watt hours, x amount of watt hours. Now that is the meaning of the gravimetric energy density. Likewise, for every liter of uh, the uh, battery package, it will deliver x amount of watt hours or capacity in terms of watt hours uh, for a given volume and that is uh, the volumetric density. The volumetric density has a direct bearing on size, that is the space requirement is decided or determined by this uh, uh, parameter. Gravimetric energy density uh, has um, a lot of uh, significance on mobile platforms. On static platforms, uh, the weight doesn't um, uh, play that much of a role as the space. So the uh, gravimetric energy density is used more in mobile platforms like for example electric vehicles and um, hybrid electric vehicles, EVs and HEVs. The range of the vehicle, how far the vehicle can uh, operate before the battery uh, is down, before the battery is completely discharged uh, is determined by this parameter. So it uh, is a range determine, determiner. If you consider the power densities, here again there are two types, gravimetric power density and volumetric power density. And again as the name suggests, gravimetric power density has the units watt per kg and volumetric power density is in watt per liter. Gravimetric power density is also called a specific power in literature and uh, you will uh, get to see that if you are referring to certain literatures. So uh, specific power for gravimetric power density and specific energy for uh, gravimetric energy density are alternate names uh, for gravimetric power and energy densities respectively. So here again the watt per liter is uh, having a direct bearing on the size, uh, size of the battery. Uh, it indicates that for a given volume, you can draw so much watts, the instantaneous watts out of the um, battery. Uh, this has, uh, this gives an indication on how much amount of discharge current that you can draw out of it at a given instant. Likewise, watt per kg specific power has a bearing on mobile platforms like EV and uh, hybrid electric vehicles, just like the um, watt hour per kg, the gravimetric energy density had um, a, a bearing on uh, the range of the electric vehicles, the watt per kg has a bearing on the acceleration or the overtaking ability of an electric vehicle.
so that decides the overtaking ability of the uh, electric vehicle one must uh, note however that energy density and power density both of these cannot be high in a given battery it so happens that the battery chemistry is such that if the energy density is high the watt hour density uh, is high the power density or the watt density is low or if the power density is high the energy density is low so these two seem to offset each other uh, and uh, uh, as a result you if you have a high range you may not have um, a high acceleration capability or if you have a high acceleration capability you may not have a large range so uh, uh, this uh, mm, uh, the choice of the battery will always be a compromise between these two parameters that is the energy and the power densities